All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. Man, we had an Econ build we were doing a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to top it off with a halfway decent optic, but uh, this one is geared more to the individual who is not ready to pop that $400 down for an optic, not ready to pop the $200 down for an optic, but just trying to put something together. Now, let's talk about what we're putting this thing on top of. This is the Freedom Stainless Steel 1 and 8 Twist from Palmetto State Armory with the UTG Leapers drop-in quad rail, a Pro Mag. I like these. They have got, um, what do you call these things? Vertical grip. And we got the uh, UTG rear backup iron sight. But anyway, what we want to top this thing off with is this. This is an Econ style three power prism scope. And this is from Monstrum. Now I've seen these on Amazon and you know what? I wanted to go ahead and give this a try simply because I just need to validate seeing this thing. You see them all the time. There's been some good reviews. There's been some bad reviews. So I wanted to see for myself. For $82 delivered, I didn't think this was a bad deal. So this is the first time I've gotten it out. I uh, took it out of the delivery box a couple of days ago. It's been riding around in my, my backpack. In other words, been sitting around and waiting on it. Now, first thing you see is it's made in China. And, you know, a dollar amount of this is it, it's sub $100. What, what are you going to ask for? But what I'm hoping is, is this thing will be good for plinking and just simple go out and shoot and have some fun with it. You're not going to take it into combat, of course, but it's just a good all around fun gun type little prism scope. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the way a little bit. And I've got all my little utensils here for measurements and everything else. All right, so we're going to open this thing up. Comes just like that. Guys, I've got the window open, the fan blowing in here because a few minutes ago I was doing another plastic dip video and I had exhaust fans going, but I'm going to tell you something. Whew. All right, see. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was just a really attractive scope. It comes like this. You've got it in two models. You get the black and the flat dark earth. This is a three power. This is the S330P Monstrum Tactical.com. Take a look at them. All right. Instructional manual fixed three times magnification, 30 millimeter objective lens for targeting out to 200 yards and beyond. The glass prism scope uh, rather than refracting lens, blah, blah, blah. Adjustable half MOA clicks. Aircraft aluminum 661 aluminum construction. Oh, it is sealed nitrogen charge scope for tube resistance. All right, that was my biggest thing. The dollar amount that we have here, just, I just wanted, I didn't know if it was nitrogen charged or not. Okay, uh, here's instructions on how to mount it. And that's it. You got a CR2032 battery, reticle elimination. Uh, one click equals one half MOA at 100 yards. All right, without further ado, on adjustable diaocular. Okay, good. Let's put that away. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right, so this is how the box comes. And that's it, man. Look at there. That's what that thing looks like. Now, I've seen some in the reviews said that they didn't come with lens covers. And, you know, guys you can prove to tell you I have not opened it this thing is vacuum sealed so let's go ahead oh, shoot where's my knife oh right here it is let's go ahead and open this thing up and look at there now a couple of the reviews said the fit and finish was horrible I want to see if these uh, these are captured or not or are they just gonna wheel right off the end of it are you yep <laughs> number one Make sure these things don't come all the way off. Some silica gel made in China. This thing's mounted on here. Looks nice. Now to fit and finish on this, and this is the reason why I've got it a little bit overexposed, so you can see all the details on it. Take a look at that. And this one does come with lens covers, and I'm glad it does. In a second here, we'll go ahead and take a look. Wow, I'm a, you know what? The daggum eye relief on this, I'm, I'm just kind of looking through it. Let's see if we can get you guys to see. And one of the things I always, always look at too, on a rear focus ring, when you bring it out, really, I'm shooting a video here. Uh, a lot of times when you bring them out, a great deal like this, there's some movement. And there is some movement in this thing right here. All right, so that's one of the telltale signs. And... I've got a little, uh, like I always do on my uh, videos, I put a rear washer on there. All right, check the uh, rotation on the 
selector. Very nice. That's tight. And there is a battery in there. Okay, so it is lit and it's green. You've got five different levels. There's red. One, two, three, four, and five. Guys, I'm not that bad. For a hundred bucks? You get this thing zeroed in, man, you'd be in good shape. So we can get the uh Get that in there, see what you can see. You see that? Oh, wow, there you go. There's the reticle. That's exactly what the reticle looks like. Boom! And there's, like I said, five levels of darkness. Brightness. <laughs> um, okay, so there is that. Nitrogen purged. There's no threading up here, so you don't want to do that. It appears that everything's supposed to be in sight. Everything appears to be intact inside the scope. It's perfectly round. Clear, etched in glass, etched in reticle. And I'll do a couple shots of the reticle itself. Of course, at this dollar amount, your caps are not going to be tethered. Woo. Let's go ahead and pull that one off. All right, let me get a screwdriver and we'll see how tactile, tactile these things are. Hold on. Right, I got my little microphone down here so you can hear it. Here we go. All right, you ready? Y'all hear that? Not bad. All right, another complaint that some people were having was that the rotation was backwards. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mount this on the rifle here real quickly. So let's see, bring it up, push it forward, bring those on just like that. That, that's not bad. Let me see what the, oh man, that looks cool. <laughs> All right, and that's perfect because you don't really see the with the magnification of three power. You see the front sight post, but it, it's not obstructive. So that's good stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do real quickly is I'm going to use my laser bore sighter, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check for the rotation on the elevation and the windage knobs to make sure that they go left and right. So I'll be right back because you don't want to know how I do that. <laughs> Stand by. All right, guys, just real quickly, I have verified that the rotation on the windage and the elevation knobs are the way they're supposed to be. All right. Unfortunately, I have zeroed it in <laughs> while well, we did it. And you know what? Let's do this. I want to take it off. I want to weigh it because it should, I'm interested in seeing how much this thing weighs. It's not that heavy, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I can verify zero by bringing it back on and seeing how well it lines back up with my uh, bore cider. Nice thing is, is I've used the same bore cider now for a couple years, and I know exactly where that thing's supposed to line up. Go ahead and put that where you can see it. 15 ounces. All right, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put a rubber gasket around the rear ocular and I'm going to show you exactly for you guys that haven't seen that in the past I'm going to show you what I do there stand by all right so here's a little helpful hint these things right here I don't know where I get these washers from but a little machine shop down the road and or you can go by Lowe's but a lot of times on other scopes I have I actually found them where they're a little wider and they're flat and they work well because they go inside that gapped area for us blind people that we have to back that thing all the way out and what it does is it creates a nice seal so you pop it in there like that and it's nice so the flat ones actually make a better surface but what that does is when you bring it back out that far and you want to tighten it down a little bit it ensures that that rear ocular piece does not move around all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead i'm going to remount it to the rifle 82 bucks man i am absolutely impressed I got I want to see how long it lasts. 
but it seems it appears to be in a good let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna go back over here all right guys well according <laughs> and really and truly you're not going to know until you get it out to the range but we're going to go ahead and take it out to the range in the next day or so that'll be a separate video but i'm going to tell you something i really like that little scope it's not bad the tell the tape is going to be how it performs out on the range but look at this man get a little scope covers here i hope they go on there with the uh well that's very tight whatever that's not bad there that'll work good enough all right well guys that's it man this is the tabletop and the mounting of the monstrum s330 not a bad little deal i'm not unpleased with the uh the, the way it looks and uh i think we're gonna be okay let's see how she performs we'll get a couple hundred rounds through it see how she holds zero and go from there the things we didn't discuss earlier was the battery life now i gotta be perfectly honest with you all right, I'm not gonna lie to you. On an Econ scope like this, battery life is the last thing I'm worried about. You're probably gonna get 36 hours, if <laughs> that, 48 hours out of the battery on this thing. Uh, always carry a couple spares, but I, you know I have these uh, prism scopes like this with the etched in glass reticle, and I can I hardly ever use the lit reticle unless it's dark, and uh, I'm hardly ever out shooting in the dark. So anyway, that pretty much is that when it comes to that. But I'll tell you right now, that reticle is nice. I like it. All right, so the final tabletop assessment. Let's talk about a couple things. Uh, one, it's an economical prism scope. All right, two, uh, the thing's underneath a, <laughs> under 100 bucks. Now, would uh, I recommend it? Well, not without shooting it for a, probably a, a good month or so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple hundred rounds to this thing just to see if she holds zero. If she holds zero through that and takes a little bit of abuse, I would definitely wouldn't have any problems. The only problem that I have with these sights, and this is the guys I'm talking to when you start talking about the econ type scopes out there, okay? Is that you're gonna be looking at quality control. There's the potential that the one you get. Now this one right here, everything worked just fine and the one i'm really happy to this nitrogen perch i mean that means that somebody did a good job of trying to seal it up i mean they are made in the good old china but you always have that in the back of your mind am i going to get something that is second rate well you know there's always that potential of course there's that potential with anything out there you know so you just uh there's always that risk if you're going to buy this thing i would say please go ahead and make sure that you're getting it from a reputable company. Amazon does a great job at uh, taking returns. I mean, I've never had an issue. If, if Believe me, if something was wrong with this thing, if the turrets didn't turn, if they didn't click the way we're supposed to, if there was a dent in it, it'd be boxed right back up and shipped to them tomorrow. And they don't have a problem taking the thing back. And that's one of the things that I, I, you know, I've got a friend of mine, he bought some stuff from Optic Planet. It was a manufacturer and it's a third party. And they were like, okay, we'll send it back. We'll have to do this. Well, you know, if, as long as you're dealing with a reputable distributor, you shouldn't have any issues getting things replaced. All right. Well, that being said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. As a matter of fact, speaking of subscribing, my buddy Zeus, his link is going to be, hopefully I can put it right there. If not, this is going to be screwed up. But <laughs> anyway, guys, if you haven't done so, check out Zeus' site. He's a really neat guy. He did a cool video. And uh, I was overwhelmed and quite humbled, man. And I thank you very much, Zeus. I really appreciate it. But he does a lot of work with the charities and, the, and a lot of work with the group of guys that we have. And, uh, man, he is dedicated to the cause and dedicated to the hashtag Justin's Final Mission. And uh, I just can't say how much that young man uh, impressed me and uh, with his just endeavor to do everything the right way. Thank you very much for everything you do, Zeus. Uh, all right, so, again... If you like the video thumbs up if you haven't already done so please subscribe and uh land it like this support the boys in red white and blue god bless america god bless those men and women uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free go to boy 32 out